When I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. What are with all these dead birds? No! What is going on here? Oh man. It's really hard to find some of these pictures. Maxine Pop here. I'm sorry I haven't gotten in touch sooner. I know your mom is very proud of you for saving that girl, as am I. We have no doubt sending you to Blackwell was the best thing you ever demanded we do. It makes us so proud to read about you in the news and see actual video of you walking down with the, walking down from the roof with, with that girl. And if you want to come back home and to relax and maybe go to a high school around here, doors wide open. Love, Pop. Thanks, Pop. It's been a whirlwind here. I'm not ready to come home yet. Talk, talk later. Isn't it illegal to cover up your... I hope she finds a nice T-bone to keep the doggy busy. Isn't it... Isn't it illegal to board up your windows? In your car? Or trailer or whatever? This is so creepy. It is. Stop it with all these dead birds, you're making me sad. Snowfall, eclipses, now dying animals? Holy shit. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? You don't think it could be like climate change or something? Climate sure has changed around here. Just saw that Prescott brat having a fit by himself in the parking lot. Isn't he always having a fit? He ain't the only one. You knew what was going on with the fish around Arcadia Bay. Sorry, I'm too pissed to talk about it. See you around, kid. Got information. Good morning. Don't it? I heard that something bad was happening to the fish in Arcadia Bay. Well, since you mentioned it first, there ain't no fish in Arcadia Bay. <laughs> what? Come on. None? None worth catching and eating anymore. I'm not shitting you. Salmon, trout, bass have died and migrated. Even the damn clams are dying. Oh my god. But what about... Sorry, Holy shit. Too salty to talk about it. See you around, kid. That's crazy. Like the whole world is starting to just die. Holy shit. So ominous. What the hell? Look at that. It's so sad and disturbing and beautiful at once. What an amazing shot. That's just downright scary. 
Hi, how are you? I remember you. I heard about that girl almost jumping off the Blackwell roof. Kate Marsh. I was able to actually talk her down from the roof. That was you? Well, if I had a bottle, cheers. Thanks. Wish I had a bottle for you. But I need to find out who else is involved in this. I'm probably a bigger snoop than you. People pretend to not see me. So I see everybody. And everything. What about Nathan? Including Nathan Prescott? That spoiled shit finally got kicked out of his daddy's school. He also drugged the girl who tried to jump. Sounds like you know a lot more than me, child. I just think Arcadia Bay is in trouble. Maybe you'd like to tell me what you're hiding. I feel like I can trust you as much as Chloe. And you wouldn't think I'm crazy. Too late for me to judge anybody. Plus, you're not crazy. I'm just gonna say this. I had a vision of Arcadia Bay being destroyed by a tornado. For real. Uh, could be. Bad mojo is in the air this week. Thanks for the warning, Max. Thanks for that storm warning, Max. And, uh... I'll let you know if I find out anything. All right, then. I mean, I don't regret telling her. She might spread the word, but whatever. It's better than nothing. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Peachy. Interview over bad day having a bad day at the office some punks messed with the train tracks and now I have to wait for three days until I get my cargo time is money for a guy like me oh oh, oh yeah that sucks wish I could drive right out of Arcadia Bay old town is crumbling snow eclipse now a slut trying to commit suicide maybe you oh, should sure. leave then what if I could now, even that shifty Rachel What's-Her-Face asked me once if I'd drive her to Los Angeles. You knew Rachel Amber? Can you tell me about her? Nope. Christ, why don't you get a real job instead of homework? I'd love to see you Blackwell turds try to drive my 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. Like I said, interview over. Well, you don't have to be a dick about it. At least I'm respecting you. Hey. How Peach. Actually, I wanted to ask if that's your bitch in 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. How the hell did you know that? Rachel Amber. My friend Rachel Amber told me about this cool rig in town because I love taking pictures of truckers. You knew Rachel. She sure didn't give a rat's ass about truckers. Or real work. Oh. So you must have known her too? Only from the diner. She was just a gold digger. She belonged in California with all those you know who know what's. Good riddance. But you can take pictures of my truck anytime. Take care. That's pretty cool. Can I take a picture of it, please? <laughs> I can! Success! Nice. Alright, there's a bird on a tire somewhere. Where's that tire? It's gotta be around here somewhere. Are you still scrounging for dog food? Damn, there has to be food for you somewhere. I don't see a wheel anywhere. Tornadoes, snowfall, eclipses, now dying animals? 
Holy shit. Oh god, that is so embarrassing. I'm gonna get trolled hard. Why? Oh, superheroine saved suicidal Blackwell student. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. Skype calls, they're fun. Who was talking to me? Warren, right? But I managed to get us both tickets. Had to fight a dozen bullies off for for them though. Freaking nerds. God damn it! Never mind me, officer. I'm just here to steal a drug dealer's keys. Looks tasty, but my need for keys comes first. Nathan has time to get drugs from Frank because he was expelled. Or talk to you. Crazy shit, man. Turn up the brain to 11, Max. How can you snag Frank's keys? Well, we're about to find out. Can't drop any tunes right now. Keys. Well, apparently I can look at everything that I want before I do shit, so why even give me the option? I like all the fluff text in this game. Frank Bauer stars in A Face Full of Beans. Turn up the brain to 11, Max. You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. You're lucky I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. <laughs> in other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Black Bull Academy. <laughs> More things I can look at. I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Black Will for a while. And you for helping her. That's the kind of school spirit we need more of. Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems about now. It makes me sick thinking about it. 
I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Learning information one by one. There she is. Thanks. I'm... I thought Nathan Prescott oh, represents wait. Blackwell. Well, you don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. Learning information Fish. one by one. Thanks. I'm glad. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect. Oh, wait. That's. Sup, Nathan, you little prick. Rachel? Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh. Oh, look. Max Amber. Nice outfit. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you tweed bitch. You're lucky this is a public place. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh, yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You were so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm down, dude. We're in a diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. Piece of shit. Just talking to you makes my ears bleed. Your sugar daddy will always protect you, and threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care, hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe I could help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. Holy shit, what do you want now? Listen, Nathan, I'll take back everything I said about you if you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. Holy shit. That proves it! He does drug people. Holy shit. That's all the proof we need. I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Holy sh... Listen. Let me, let me see how far I can take this. How do you... Come. Holy... 
You don't know. Then tell what? Maybe I, I don't need. Oh. I bet you hoped that. Idiot. Did you drop? You were so. Calm down. Right. What can I do for you, Max? Ooh, how am I gonna handle this? I mean, obviously, my main goal is to get the keys, but. Mm. Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell with Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. And to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? What can I do for you? Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. Just I guess melt out you... all the options. Uh. Gonna talk to you about oh. something. I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers, like a babysitter. Bullshit! My dad doesn't hire; he owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually, he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. Hold... Weren't you supposed to keep your mouth shut about the blood oath Frank took for Rachel? Blood oath? Who? What the fuck? I never told anybody about that freaky shit. Besides, everybody knows Frank is a liar and a loser. Even Rachel did. Yet Rachel Amber hung out with him more than you. So? Rachel wanted Frank's stash. She let him take pictures, then he carries around her photo like she posed for love. Dumbass. God, I'm just getting all this information. I mean, like, holy. Oh. Okay. I mean, I'm getting information here, so. Okay. Oop, wait, no. I look. Okay. What the fuck now? Now I got all this information. You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. No fix for you.
My work here is done here, Frank. So can I just take the key? I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now! Key brought. Now back to Chloe. I just told you how awesome you are with animals. Hey, it's uh shit, Alyssa, right? Oh she's shitting me? Yes yeah, what? Alyssa, watch out! Quit thinking, Max. How are you? Ooh, that was close, Alyssa. Okay, Max, this is the third time you've saved me from harm's way. You must be my angel. Don't thank me. I haven't done anything special. You've paid your dues by saving Kate's life on the roof. You really are a Blackwell hero, Max. I'm just glad she came down. Kate's a good person. My friend. And she was almost bullied to death by a video. It's fucked up. But you're an amazing friend. I want to make sure she knows how many friends she really has from now on. Amen to that. Max, we should get a posse to see her in the hospital when they allow visitors. Let's hang later and talk some more. Awesome. Thanks again, Max. Talk to you later. Oh, you got something? My Scooby snack, Chloe. <laughs> I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. <laughs> Why me? On your mark, get set. Throw! Throw. Dude, that's fucking dark. <laughs> it's a treat, treat, boy. I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace. But let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. Like, we don't want to throw that thing in the street. It's going to get run over. Damn. I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy! Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just Daydreaming. Thinking about that kiss? <laughs> Let's get started. Frank you must have a reason to keep a police radar on your, your body. Rainbow. It's good to know Frank has a knife lying around. Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. <laughs> Recycle, dude. Of course Frank gets the munchies. Nice rig. Glad Frank treats something here with respect. How can somebody live like this? You do have, like, a psych compartment, you know? Crappy wife out here. Must take him days to download porn. Yuck. A blowtorch. That's a pretty extreme lighter. Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. All right, maybe he's got the gun in here. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. Prescription pills. Are these for Frank or is he selling them? Or both? 
Is Frank going to deal online now? Noob's guide to a web business. Whoa, what the hell is he doing with that dog? <sighs> Stop it. I could pry this vent open with the right tool. No more secrets. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. Ooh, Frank's stash. Ooh, money. Or is that drugs? It's it kind of hard to tell. Alright, so I need a tool. I cannot believe he would wear a collar and a furry mask. You're dumb. <laughs> Chloe isn't scared. She's loving this. Press the gun! Chloe's gun. Should I give it back to her? I mean, obviously. We don't need this guy with a gun on us. I have a terrible present for you. Ugh, an ounce of dank bud? <laughs> oh, you so rule, Max. Thank you. I feel so much better now. You better bring it back to David right away. Yeah, sure. I'm on it. I feel like he's gonna shoot. I might regret this, but I can't let Frank hurt someone. I think the doggy likes his bone more. Pompadou? <laughs> For reals? That's a poodle's name. What else is there? A baseball bat. I doubt Frank is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. No prize here. God, we need a tool. Max, this is almost as good as a set of keys. All right, can I pry this open My now? My blade will open any portal. Ooh. Oh man, Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. Hope you read this first thing in the morning. Sorry about last night. I was being a monster, monstrous bitch and took it out on you and poor Pompadou. There's a lot of weird shit going on in my life and sometimes I feel like I've never, I'm never going to get out of Arcadia Bay. Thank God for you. You're one of the best things I have here and I smile when I think of us together. Let's drive out of here forever. Ooh. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. <laughs> hmm. Trouble in paradise. Frank, that was not cool of what you did. I don't blame the drugs. You actually scared me and I thought you'd never chill out. And I, I never seen you act that way and the next time will be the last. I'm a Leo and we don't and we don't look back. I care about you, so maybe we could need to break up the routine. Well, wow, that's some important that's some important shit right there. There's probably more in this oh, I can't open up that vent. Apparently that was the key item I needed to get out of here. It makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on the step fucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! Chloe! Oh. 